The dust has finally settled upon all of the early product releases for 2022, but now we've got to find out which one's the best. First up, we're obviously going to do drivers, and we're going to find out which one's the best and which one's going in my bag. Today, we're going to do TaylorMade Stealth Plus against the Cobra LTD XLS. Let's jump into it. So the Cobra LTD XLS against the TaylorMade Stealth Plus. We've got both here with me today. I've been actually testing them for the last few weeks. So I have a very good understanding as to how different they are and also how similar they are. Although there are some very different marketing techniques between TaylorMade and Cobra for these drivers, they're targeted towards pretty much the same golfer, the low spinning, more neutral fade bias club for the better players. TaylorMade Stealth first, we all know the red carbon face, a brand new innovation for 2022, said to be more forgiving, go further, more ball speeds, classic tailor-made whereas the Cobra LTDX LS more towards the external weighting and the HOT face nothing too revolutionary with this actual technology but in my initial reviews I was very very impressed because it has a high MOI I've got both heads here with me today nine degrees de-lofted as much as I can with my own custom shaft I have been using the same shaft for testing and will be using the same shaft today so the only difference with performance will be with these two driver heads so we've got two drivers here that are nine degrees that are kind of targeting the the same player i'm gonna be honest are we gonna notice a big difference in data and numbers no not at all they're gonna be very similar to each other and when i've taken them to silvermere golf club to the full swing studio they were now on identical to each other with the same shaft i'll put the numbers up on the screen for you now and you can see both averaging about 320 yards total carrying about 300 yards good ball speed numbers good club head speed numbers differential there of about a mile an hour in the ball speed is that enough for me to say that the stealth is faster no it's not because i'm not a robot and it could be completely down to the strike of the club but although they are very similar to each other for those numbers let's talk about sound and performance and forgiveness because those are the big things here those are the difference between these clubs Whew. That wasn't bad what i have found with these two drivers is a difference in sound and the forgiveness across the face tailor-made stealth plus a flagship model for 2022 and just tailor-made in general is not as forgiving it's the blunt truth unfortunately i do really like the stealth plus and the sound it makes is a big improvement to the sim 2 it's more metallic and i think a lot of tall players have grown really fond of it however across the face i did notice it being less forgiving especially across kind of low strikes i noticed a real diminishing amount of distance when i wasn't hitting it great hitting it quite low on the face the cobra ltd xls however is i think a lot more forgiving and you could probably kind of tell that with the way in which cobra have marketed it saying it's a high moi really forgiving driver they're not pushing ball speed that much i know the name ltd does have the longest total distance it's going to go a long way but they say that every single year the bit about moi means that across the face it's supposed to be more forgiving and i did really notice that i felt that across the face you got a lot straighter ball flight than the tailor-made stealth plus however yes i'm not making it as easy for you guys although the tailor stealth isn't as forgiving i actually felt like the the sound and feel of it across the face was nicer it was almost that when i was hitting it out of the toe and out of the heel i was still getting quite positive feedback and then i'd look up and i'd be like oh hey it's, it's going over there whereas the cobra ltdx ls i think the feedback was more noticeable i felt like i knew exactly where it was across the face whenever i hit it i would think oh it's out of the heel but then the ball flight was actually quite pleasing we're gonna lower a few balls here and try and drive this green i'm gonna do the stealth first it's about about 300 yards or so into a bit of wind it's gonna be all carry i'll see if i can get any on the green because it is a very difficult shot today but we'll see the difference between these two drivers on about three or four shots oh, oh just all right as well oh it's so nearly it doesn't suit my fade this hole Ah, similar to the stealth, that one. Just can't get that draw. That's the best of the lot, but the wind's taking it again. Just going right bunker. That's the one. Just whether it gets there. See, what I found interesting on those selections of shots is you could see all the same shot shape, all pretty similar to each other, but I would say I struck them all relatively the same. A few were a bit low on the face and out of the heel, but the difference in ball flight was quite noticeable. I saw the stealth really had a little bit more curvature to it, a bit lower ball flight while I hit it a little bit low, a little bit out of the heel, whereas I felt that the Cobra kind of kept up a little bit better. Now, you definitely can't determine the difference between two clubs out of three shots each, but I does kind of agree with the points that I've said so far. 
So all those bulls here that you can just see, there's three there, there's two just slightly further ahead, just about 10 yards short of the green. And then the one that I thought was the best of the day is just over there with a little chip to the green as well. All carried about 280 into this wind, which isn't too bad, given that it is very cold and it's just all carry. But if we're looking at those collection shots from a dispersion point of view, they're all really collected together. Both the Stealth and the LTX LS, you can't really separate them with the actual on-course performance here. It's just that feel and looking at the actual flight for this hole, wouldn't really make a difference because it doesn't really matter, it's gonna roll up anyway, but on certain holes, when you need to have the optimal ball flight, that's what you need to keep in mind. So which driver do I think is better, the Stealth Plus or the Cobra LTDX LS? This is a difficult one because I think sliding between these two, it comes down to two factors, and that is forgiveness and also feel. I think the TaylorMade Stealth Plus has slightly better feel across the entire face, whereas the Cobra LTDX LF is a bit more of a forgiving driver head. So what would you want to go for? If you want a little bit more forgiveness in a lower spinning model, go for the Cobra. But if you want a little bit better feel with that new carbon face, the Stealth Plus. Which one am I gonna go for? Well, I'm a bit of an idiot, I'll be honest. And I think driving is quite a strong part of my game. So I would likely go for this TaylorMade Stealth Plus just because I really do like having such a strong feeling club when you hit it out of the middle and also when you hit it off our center strikes. But is it here to stay? Maybe not because there's a lot more comparisons that I'm gonna do. The LTDX LS is a very good driving model, but I was actually more fond of the Cobra LTDX one that's a little bit more forgiving because I noticed some really good ball speeds and it felt pretty decent as well. So stay tuned for lots more of our Golf Magic comparisons against a lot of brands. We've got the TaylorMade Stealth, of course we've got the higher up models, Callaway, Mizuno, Titleist, PXG, tons of brands to come and we'll eventually find out which driver is going to go in my bag for 2022. Guys if you have enjoyed this video today leave a like down below and let me know which one you would choose. If you are new to Golf Magic guys hit that subscribe button down below, smash that subscribe button, keep up to date with all of our videos. We've got comparisons, reviews, challenges coming very soon in 2022 so I hope you guys are excited. Until the next video guys, I'll see you later.